and we're back. Uh, you've missed one second-ish of the cutscene. My apologies. We just took out Adolwa, and we get to see something in the distance. What's that? Yeah. Beautiful singing. 8.5 out of 10. Wait, listen, it seems to be saying something. Could that's crying be its way of teaching us some sort of a melody? Don't just stand there, get your instrument. Y R L R Y A. Y R L Y A. Yeah, whatever. Y R L R Y A. The Oath to Order. I'd like a one large oath, please. What is he going to tell us now? Call us. That's what it's saying. So we will need to get four of these guys and call them as the solution. With this, though, all of the water in the area has cleared up. Meaning we are now basically able to swim in this area. Not that there's much to do swimming-wise, but it is still helpful. What is that thing? The four people Tail talked about. Do you think one of them was the spirit sealed inside that mask? Oh, hey, you were pretty good out there. Have you done this before or what? Now, let's keep up the pace and save the other three. Hey, um... All that stuff I did to you, your horse, I apologize, I'm sorry. Yeah, I apologize. So don't hold it against me, got it? Now then, let's hurry and help the princess the monkey mentioned. After that, our next stop is the mountains. We just gotta do something about that skull kid. And this looks like a nice, cozy place. Like, I don't know what that is. And we head into this area. Wah? Well, huh? Who are you? Bard, pleased to meet you. I am the Deku Princess. Were you by chance asked by that monkey to come save me? Aha! Uh -huh, just as I suspected. You see, your body smells a little like monkey. I don't want to save you after all. So the monkey's made it back. That's good. I was worried that when I didn't come home, my father would think the monkey had kidnapped me. I was even so worried. I was even worried my father would go so far as to punish the poor monkey. <laughs> don't don't tell me. Are you serious? Is father actually doing that? Yet another hasty decision, father. Well, we haven't any time to lose. Quickly, Mr. Bard, could you please find something to carry me in so you can take me to the Deku Palace? Um, it's kind of entertaining. We didn't actually use our fairy at all in that thing. So, and like, we were half a heart down. There we go. Bottle full of princess. No time to lose, take me to the palace. A royal rush. Well, 
clearly nothing important. I can take my time. Switch back to Deku. I won't be able to get in the palace without it. But I did see um, what seemed to be where the Great Fairy Shrine was earlier. So we're going to be heading that way. Yep, right up over here. And like everything in this area, you need the Deku Flower to get there. Gonna switch out of being a Deku, because I think Link should be the one to go see the fairies. The Fairy Fountain. So there's five fairies floating around. Let's give him 15 friends. By their powers combined... <laughs> oh wise young one, I am the Great Fairy of Wisdom. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I shall enhance your magic power. So that is going to be useful for later for sure. We now have twice as much magic. If you guys want to add another bar above it, I'm not using that one for hearts, so. I, I'd be okay with it. Quadruple my magic powder. Power. Great Fairy of the Swamp. You doubled your magic power. Come see me whenever you have overcome by weariness. As she screams a death scream. And let's continue on. We gotta head back to the uh, Deku Palace. I don't think there's gonna be any real risk on our route there. Especially because the water is even tidied up. So. This thing, I'm like, oh, let's dash, but you can't dash. Too much Breath of the Wild. I think this just puts us out right next to where we entered. Oh, sorry, the exact same door as we entered. Another situation, just kind of swim across the water. And we will have to worry about it starting very soon. Deku scrub. I still can't believe we're only halfway through a cycle right now. Told you not to enter any other areas. It's a rare occasion you're allowed to enter. Ah, just go. You'll be fine. They never actually restrict you from coming in. The monkey has gone. Instead, he is on this, um... Intricate construction. Why are you waiting? Punishment. Punishment. You told me I smell like monkey. Hello, Mr. Butler. How are you doing? It's terribly sad, but nothing can calm the king now. Our swamps have become poisoned. Not anymore. This may be the end of the Deku Kingdom. Oh, goddess of time, save us. So, the thing that can save them right now is... The Deku Princess. Oh, my princess, my darling princess. You're all right, I was so worried. <laughs> Foolish father. And she just starts beating him up. I had to say, I don't think any of them can stop it. What are you doing? Let that monkey go this instant. It's always a nice little, um end part to this because you don't really have to save the Deku Princess if you don't want to unless you're going for all masks. Oh Mr. Monkey, I am truly sorry. Father does such rash things when he's worried about me. I understand. Forget about it. The temple has returned to normal? Yes, thanks to Bard here. It's very grateful. Really? So you're called Bard, are you? Thanks for keeping your promise to me. And it's weird that I'm doing it in the same cycle I got the promise. Find it in the shrine to your right when you leave the palace. And this is one that I'm like, yeah, do I want to go run through it? I usually wait till later for this part. So I guess we'll, we'll give it a shot. Because I don't want to really jump into the next area yet. I feel I'd be good at the beginning of the next part. 
Um, we do still have to buy the bomb bags we helped save. Um, just so we have bombs uh, outside of blowing our face off. Since that's only a stack of six bombs. Oops, I went too far. Um, but outside of that, I don't know. Because bombs are a very useful attack for a lot of um, enemies. Even Adolwa took some hits from bombs that he did not take from swords. Night of the second day, we are technically at the halfway point. Ooh, I think I actually know what I can do as the uh, the rest of the cycles plans, rather than starting a fresh area. So first, at the Deku Shrine. I am truly thankful for what you've done for the princess. As a sign of our gratitude, we have prepared something that we think may assist you. It will lead you to it. Please follow me. So we just want to stick with the butler here. He's going to make all sorts of turns. The mad scrubs here are not going to attack us. They are just there as kind of um, indicators more than anything else. Oh, we don't know which way he turned. Not that way. Well, I already got turned around. Looks like he went this direction. Oh, you can hear a door closing. And as long as you get through the door before it fully closes, you're good. Oh, we gotta switch off of being Link. I start off of being Deku, just so that we can make the trek down. I'm gonna want to switch to Deku. I just saw him make a turn to the right, so it should be good there. And then I saw him left. So we want to frost these as much as we can. We follow them, at least we are still making progress towards it. I'm glad that we haven't washed yet, because uh, I don't trust myself normally when it comes to these puzzles. We're almost to the part where I want to do, like I would normally do later. Oh, okay. It's not fire in this one, because it was just firewalls before, which would instant kill a Deku. Now it's just that you can't go this way. All right, so we got to go up the center here because any other one you'll start sliding down. See, the second you stepped on something that was not stairs. Let's switch back to the scrub. I think everything that's left is scrub friendly. Or, or I could be wrong immediately. Oh. Not good. That's not good. Same with the Deku Scrub. As long as you roll before a um, jump, you're usually safe to launch up with it. A little bit of rupees, and we have completed the challenge here. This does have its uses for later, but... Well done. Now, here's the item I promised. Please accept it. No other Deku could do that, because I don't believe Dekus can jump. When I see you, I am reminded of my son, who left home long ago. I felt I was racing my son, and I may have tried too hard to outrun you. As old as I am, I am still fast, just like when I raced my son. Please forgive my rudeness. You can find your way out through that light over there. Look forward to meeting you again. Bard, take care. And Royal Rush complete. The Mask of Sense. Uh, it's a useful mask. Um, let's say, 
You can exit through that light whenever it decides to work. Uh, no heart pieces yet, but we're up to about five or six masks, so that's a good sign. Um, I don't think there's anything else that requires, like, me in the swamp. So let us head back. To Clock Town. Ah. Yeah, because I want to buy the bomb bag first. Then I also will want to speed time along to the third day at some point. Because we're just going to kind of tidy things up for the end of this one. Ooh, uh, laundry pool, laundry pool. That Deku Scrub, if you go too close to that flower, will come like, Hey, don't use my flower. Oh, what do you mean you're not going to try to use my flower as a human? Don't use it. So, in the laundry pool. Said I was too loud when I practiced in my room. Oh, there was a troop of animals, and a man joined, because a man is an animal too. They were all great, but there was one thing I didn't like about it. Why was the dog the leader? Was it because something was wrong with me, sir? Oh, that dog was an amazing leader. He always had a stellar troop, no matter what animals he had to work with. That's why I stole it. The dog's mask, I stole it. I wanted it because it was the leader's mask. But I no longer need it, so I'll give it to you. We got the Bremen mask. The leader was a good instructor. His members matured quickly, became adults in an instant. A melancholy melody. Guru Guru's Bitter Tale. A traveling musician was added to your notebook. So we picked up that. We still have to go get bombs. Sorry, that one was a... Oh, I can do this! Remember, so that's why I jumped ahead. Uh, there is another mask I'm going to want to pick up on the way away from here. Um, oh, bombs are up this area. How much? Welcome. 90, alright. Alright, so we need 90, and that that guy does not want anything to happen to his mom, which is understandable. I don't think anyone really would want something to happen to their mom. Okay, I guess that can't be true. There are um, some situations where they are the best, but usually they wouldn't. Ah, I'd like to withdraw some rupees. Um, 47, please. Use it wisely. Wisely. So that gets us up to 90. That'll let us get our bombs. I could just ignore it for this cycle because I wasn't planning on using many. Uh, but by grabbing it now, that means I'll be able to pick up bombs in the field. Similar to how I can pick up arrows now that I have the bow. Welcome. Big bomb bag. So, now you can hold 30 bombs. Um, we do have two more quick little detours to make, so I will cut ahead to those. See you in just a second. You know what? I'm actually going to want to head out from um, West Clock Town right after getting the bomb bag. Uh, because we are headed to this area right here. I couldn't remember which side it was on. I'm glad I uh, decided to make the, the call on Triad. So... If we can see, there's some stones over there. If we head over here, you'll see absolutely nothing out of the ordinary. So let's fix that. Um, double time. And we're going to jump ahead to midnight and 1 a.m. So 1 a.m. on the third day. 
I am no longer part of the living, my sadness to the moon. I have left my dance to the world, I am filled with regret. I am disappointed, O oh moon, I have died. I plan to bring the world together and stir it into a giant melting pot with my dance. If only I had taught my new dance to someone. Well, fortunately, we got Camaro. Oh, Song of Healing, that's right. So, by playing Song of Healing, which is... We're gonna heal his soul. I have taught it to you, now make it a popular dance craze. We got Camaro's Mask. As terrifying as that looks, sure. I am counting on you. Translation, I am counting on you. Uh, there is one more song I'm going to want to play. I'm actually going to turn off the um, this inverted song of time, which is just the same song again. And we're actually heading straight to the bottom of the map there. Return it to normal. Uh, and that's just because we're not going to need it for the rest of the thing, and... This way, by the time I get there, it'll be a route right. Uh, I am headed to, on the map, you see right below the red treasure chest? That's the entrance I'm headed to, so. Holy big uh, levers there. Yeah, see you guys there. <laughs> Unless I die, in which case you're going to have to see that. So I do want to keep track of my deaths. Ooh, hey. Well, I mean, I was planning on killing him, but he did just kind of give me the heart back, so we're good. So we were headed to this area. Milk Road ahead, Romani Ranch further ahead. So, by heading into Milk Road, we get a few things, one of which is a new teleport point. Not gonna save it quite yet. And pretty much near all the ones in the field, you have a chance of getting the um, what's it called? Um, you have a chance of getting a fairy. So I don't know how much Milk Road is gonna cost us as a map. Cause you can see we don't have the map currently, but we at least can now get Tingle with this bow instead. Oh, oops, we accidentally, accidentally, caught Tingle with the arrow himself. Uh, so Romani Ranch is 20 rupees. Let's pick up that. Since there's a big rock blocking our way anyways. Uh, we got a kind of a good view on that. I kind of, I've never actually hung around to see the rock break, but that does happen at the beginning of the third day, so. Twenty rupees. Give me your map. I'm glad he doesn't charge me for his balloons each time I break them. Kulilimpa! Wait another day. Well, fortunately we have magic. So waiting is a quick process. And we're gonna just jump ahead to like 10 o'clock. Why not? We're not in a big run. The only downside, you cannot skip between days. 
with that song. You wind up at the dawn just to get this cutscene, I believe. And the path is clear now. Open the way. So you don't even need to break this rock. He will take care of it over time, but you'll only be able to access this area on the third day as a result. But since our target is not really in the ranch, it should be fine. I just blow up that balloon from a huge distance because why not? Look! Well, we are reunited with our horse. Kinda. It's uh, trapped behind this fence. The adorable yet quirky little girl from Rubani Man. Yeah, she lives there with her sister, Kremia. Well, nothing to worry about. Let's continue our trek this way. Because our goal in this entire trip here wasn't our horse, but the other faster mode of transportation. Which? Oh, plus this is fun. Ready? And... Um. Great. I, apparently I hit R right there, and so shield takes it out. Basically, we just need to walk around and pick up all the, uh, the checks. And when you let go of R, even for a second, they all split up and run everywhere else. do 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 um, but yeah, collecting all these chickens will uh, unlock another mask for us. At this rate, it does look like I'm going after pretty much all of the masks uh, that I can. There's going to be a few that are going to be huge quest lines. Those will probably get their own videos. Um, like the couple's mask, I think, is the one that comes to mind mainly. That'll be like, no, this entire thing is its own cycle, its own... Um, quest line thing. But since that's one of the last ones to do, we're, we're all good. We're still missing at least one of the yellow puffballs. Because when we have them all, Something will start happening. It will be... Oh, are we missing more? Crap. Oh, there it is, way in the distance. It's kind of hard to see, but... Oh, I'm missing two. Dang, there was ten of them? Fitting, I guess we're finishing it up at a good time. There it is. So once you've got them all, kind of walk by this guy who's asleep. Clearly not actually asleep. But you get all the roosters to show off in front of him. Because they're all grown up now. How'd you do that? Just seeing these guys with the crest and all. I don't have regrets about anything anymore. Perfectly satisfied. Here, you can have this from me. Nothing fancy. Just an old mask I used to wear in my run-in days. We got the bunny hood. Ah, uh, these guys are all roosters. <laughs> Cuckoo Shack's cute checks. You know what you did, game. But yeah, you can do that any day 
up to almost the end of the day. And Grog would be happy about it. But that is going to be where I call it. I'm flying back to Clock Town to save the game one more time. And we'll be ready for the next time, which will be journeying to the north. Um, the mountains will be our next big target. See you guys then.